YouTube. I'm uh, going to try to make a video here on uh, loading some Lee one ounce slugs on a Lee load all press. These have worked real well for me. <laughs> so I thought I'd share it and show you what what works for me. Um, this is what I go for. I like to look at my slugs and know they're there, that they are a slug. So anyway, what I'm using here is unique powder, CCI 209 primers. These are the federal hauls that I'm going to use. These are the same ones that, that you get at Wally World in their 100, 100 pack value packs. <coughs> I'm using Federal brown wads. These are the one and a quarter ounce wads. They come in a pack like this through the 12S4. So, anyway, oh, and I'm going to use my Hornady measure just because I get a little better accuracy out of that versus dropping the powder from here. So the first thing I do is put the sizer ring on, size it. Throw a primer in there. Then I'll tear out my my hull. I'm going for 25.2. And the first one's a little off. There we go. Now I like to drop my Lee slugs in there like that. And for some reason I get a little better accuracy when I cut the petals off, even with the top there. Don't ask me why, but I do. I'll let you guys figure out why it shoots better, if it even shoots better for you, but in my case it has. Anyway, I like to do that first. Those of you wondering, I'm getting 738 for a diameter there. And most cylinder bore shotguns are 737, so there's just a tush of a squeeze there, which is okay. You need a little bit of a squeeze just to have any kind of accuracy. And I shoot these out of a smooth bore shotgun. Uh, one of them cylinder bore, and the other two, I believe, are improved cylinder. And they shoot fine out of any gun I shoot them out of. Anyway, then I'll bring it down, take the wad and the slug all at once. And I don't know if you can see it, but I have a little line marked on here. That's my mark so that I don't over compress the uh, wad. I came about that mark by, this is my go-no-go no go gauge. This is five-eighths of an inch here and three-quarter inch there. And as long as my slug is in there, I know I've got it seated at the proper depth. Then I will put it in here with the uh, crimp uh, crease facing me, put the pre-crimp on. Bring it over to the crimper, and you see it's with the slug being down that five eighths to three quarters of an inch. These petals will fold, or the crimps will fold over, 
and lay right on top of that and make it a nice tight fit. And these always shoot very well for me. The main reason I started doing this is because I hunt with these and uh, if you ever get checked by the DNR and you pull out a slug with a normal crimp like you would with a trap load, they kind of frown on that. They'll end up cutting your load apart to check. But I just went ahead and started making all my slugs this way. So we'll do a couple more. Prime that. Five point four. That's two tenths, so within two tenths we'll call it good. It actually goes fairly quick. can't beat these uh, low dolls for I think they're like 55 60 bucks and if you're like me and you don't really shoot trap but you like shooting uh, slugs and buckshot and BB loads works awesome Anyway, I'd just like to state that this is my load. I kind of worked up on it. I think I started at somewhere around 20, 22 grains of unique. And I'm up to 25 now, but that's in my gun. You know, it works fine. But you out there, you're going to have to do your own load development and see how they shoot in your gun. But if you like your slugs to look like slugs, this is how I do it. So I just thought I'd share that with you all. And if you like it, you know, go ahead and give it a try. Thank you very much.